Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming out to episode seven wow. of Libby's wow. Garage. Hey. We are really happy to have made it this far with no major calamities. Our interview guest this week is the frenetic. What the hell? <laughs> I described him as frenetic on Facebook today, and I got a reply from someone saying, "Yes, that's the perfect word for him." Really? Yes. Oh God. And uh, but Justin Partridge, I, I kind of know him. We're not like uh, you know really close friends or anything, but well, I've been telling people we are. <laughs> what? I wouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, that's all the proof you need that you don't know me. Damn it. Is that you're telling people you do. <laughs> Devin's known me for 40 years and he keeps that on the down low. So Justin will be here to talk about um, his many, many uh, entertainment uh, related ventures and goals and aspirations. We're also really happy to have uh, uh, Bryson Lawrence. A uh, young man who I just met about an hour ago. Our, as is tradition, we will start the show officially uh, with a couple of songs from uh, Bryson. So we'll take a little break and get him set up and get rolling. All right. A big round of applause uh, for Bryson Lawrence. I think. Yeah. Wow. Um, Got to take care of this. This see now the show's growing. This is the first week, and this really I think says a lot about my management style. Or lack thereof. Oh, oh, were those air quotes visible to you guys? <laughs> um, that this is the first week I've actually had a schedule here, like to follow throughout the show. It says here. I think we got Bryson plays two songs. Check. check. Yeah, that's done. <laughs> I do love, doing that. I love knocking out a checklist. <laughs> oh, you see now, the very top, the very first thing, music in, music out. Uh, what I've been trying to do every single week is remind myself <laughs> to have some intermission music. Was that Bruce Hornsby? It's Terrence Stratton Darby. I picked it out just for you, Devin. <laughs> These are the jokes. These are the jokes, people. See, see, Devin and I go way, way back, and uh, our musical tastes have overlapped, I think, at exactly three points of intersection. Rush. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Rush, uh, a couple, maybe some Ozzy, uh, but on the outer side of those two loops, you have me over here with Terrence Trent Darby and Barry Manilow, and, him over here with some godforsaken yeah, shit that involves devil horns. It's, it's not a big crossover in the Venn diagram. No, no, it's not. The, it is a, and wow, our first Venn diagram joke. Yeah. I only hope the mic picked that up because I don't understand it well enough to rephrase it myself. Uh, believe it or not, we are so legit that we actually have sponsors. And, um, uh, I, and I, we are so legit that I had my first sponsor complaint. <laughs> no, I, that's not. That's not fair. Yeah, I, I know I'm legit. You're official now, bud. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he gave me a check and a correction. <laughs> and I think that's legit. That's how it works. It reminds me of being back in the newspaper business. Um, uh, and we won't. Uh, do not take the the order of uh, sponsor introductions as any indication of which person, which sponsor it was that complained. And, I, and again, complaint's not really the right word. Uh, wanted some tweaking done. Edit. Some massaging. Okay, so I want to make sure we thank Phil and Chill. Danny Foy has a uh, has a uh, launched well, a year ago a uh, the best convenience store in town, uh, in my humble opinion. Uh, um, a great drive-through uh, facility. They got a great thing going on, and they're a, a wonderful uh, a supporter of the show. So <laughs> that was screwed up. Here comes another complaint from your sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that that falls under an act. That's an act of God. In case backup uh, is uh, our newest sponsor, and uh, this is a, a, a service that uh, continuously backs up your files while your computer's on. Uh, there's no, uh, it's wireless. It's it's uh, there's no hardware involved. You install the software, and this uh, this service, in case backup, incasebackup.com, uh, will 
continuously back up all of your files on your computer. There's no need to go in and do anything. Uh, so if you forget a day, forget for a week, forget for six months, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just install the software and uh, it takes care of everything from there. Uh, everybody has been through the tragic loss of data uh, from uh, some c computer or virus based uh, calamity. So uh, I think they have plans to start at $8.50 a month. It's a, it's a great service um, and uh, I recommend uh, that service to everyone. Uh, also, Wilson Office Supply. Now, this one is the unlikeliest sponsor of all. A, a venerable institution in Wichita Falls was the first to support this mess. <laughs> and he gave me a chair. Uh, they have a, a great new line of ergonomically correct chairs. Uh, the, the line of chairs is called Better Backs by Design. They have a, a big part of their showroom. Uh, dedicated to a bunch of these great chairs. They give me one of these. Uh, it's, this is called a drafting chair. It's at the pyre. Uh, most of the chairs are desk chairs there. They're way better than the ones that you'll see at uh, Office Depot or Walmart that are just these disposable pieces of, you know what, and um, these are, uh, are beautiful pieces of furniture and I uh, highly recommend them. Uh, go, go, down, go downtown Ethan Lamar and check out Better Backs by Design, a division of Wilson Office Supply. Okay, so we paid the bills. Jack, 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 Jack. Oh Lord! And just and just waiting for me, waiting for me like tax day. The next item, monologue. I don't have a monologue today. Devin and I were talking on the phone during the week uh, about that subject. And actually, uh, a few people have brought it up uh, since we started. They're wondering why Lee Weaver isn't talking politics on this show. I and. Uh, well, you know, we had a we had a a, a near miss a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I had my first time to dip my toe into the commentary pool, and it was rather uncomfortable. Um, it's a different medium to be doing this, um, not only in front of people uh, as opposed to in front of a keyboard, but also putting it on video. I've, obviously, I, I approach most of my commentary as a writer. And while I don't feel like that's a cowardly approach, it's certainly it's safer in the environment in which you're creating it. And uh, when we had a, I had a top ten list of things I liked most and liked least about Wichita Falls. Well, one of the items on my least liked top ten was uh, some criticism of uh, another venerable institution in town, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I didn't think for a second that it was a that I was really saying anything daring since, you know, the, the Chamber of Commerce is sort of like the daily newspaper. Everybody bashes them. It's just what you do. Uh, my bashing was, was based on actual experience, not just stuff people say. But who should show up in our little tiny audience but an employee, a staff member, an officer with the Chamber of Commerce shows up and sits right there. And, and I, it, it made it a very real thing for me. Um, <laughs> And so I had this brief reckoning, like, well, you know, do I or don't I? Well, do I mean what I'm writing? Uh, does it make does it make a difference uh, that there's now a person here who's invested in a positive public opinion of the Chamber of Commerce? And uh, but balancing is the fact that uh, you know I'm also a host, and I didn't want to be a jackass to a guy come to my house for an evening of fun and entertainment. It'd be like if suddenly I went after lawyers or bankers in, in our current audience, you know. Uh, we have, or teachers, or mental health professionals, musicians. Um, I'm not sure how to categorize what you do. Salesmen. Fuck salespeople. <laughs> See, everybody's on board with that. There's a checklist for it. It turned out to be a very positive experience. I went in and did the list. Uh, the person who was in the audience uh, was a grown-up and uh, actually sort of joined in the discussion, not during the show, but afterwards. Um, uh, and maybe this whole Facebook thing is maybe gun-shy to where I no longer expect reasonable discussions. You know, may, uh, I came from an environment in print commentary where, granted it wasn't a conversation, but it was still, it, was, it still felt kind of honest. Uh, I certainly try to approach commentary responsibly. but. Uh, uh, when, when I would get feedback, even negative feedback, it was never like what, we see, what we're now totally accustomed to on Facebook. Uh, this 
just this instant scorched earth, <laughs> screw you, no screw you uh, uh, approach to discussion and, and to disagreement. I'm a little gun shy now after three years, four years immersion in the Facebook culture uh, about bringing up uh, subjects like that. Well, you know, I was leery about coming out talking about heavy issues that I write about all the time because I didn't want people to think, oh, well, I've seen this show for four <laughs> years on Facebook. Why would I tune in again? Because I don't think anybody wants to sit here and, wa and listen to me deliver my opinion on a subject of my choosing crafted in my own way it's not even fair and it's boring um, so but hopefully we will have conversations <coughs> up here that will produce uh, uh, the kind of you know fair fights that uh, don't exist I think in a lot of other uh, environments so we'll talk about Trayvon Martin next week or Ted Nugent <laughs> I had this whole list of things we could talk about Trayvon Martin yeah. Tim Tebow Oh, okay. Ted Nugent and Romney, uh, police brutality. Uh, you know, I had a Secret Service scandal on my list. Planned Parenthood. Uh, I wrote down ear hair. <laughs> that's I'll do that one. Yeah, that's, that's hot button. <laughs> Justin, how old are you? Uh, Twenty-three. You will, yeah. Yeah. Tune in in tune in twenty years. <laughs> it will be an issue whether you want it to be or not. Like your 30th birthday, I'd be, I'd be taking a good long look okay, in the mirror. I'll come back on my 30th birthday and be like, damn, this here, here. My 30th birthday, it was like my favorite Martian was standing behind me. <laughs> I looked in the mirror like, solid reference. It, it may be funnier just to give a laundry list of hot button subjects and not actually talk about them. So, uh, <laughs> just fill in your own commentary. Imagine what I might say. And tune into Facebook later. Yeah, and, you know. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll imagine something funny. That would be awesome. And then give me credit for it. And these were actual posts. These were things that I saw written that I did not say what immediately came to mind. Like, so to the person who posted, your words mean nothing to me. Only God can judge me. <laughs> Wait, that's not the joke? <laughs> do, what do I go with first? The, 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 the one, I, I have two responses. Uh, sort of PG and one that's not at all PG. How, which, what's the best way to work this? I'll start with the one that, I, that, that is PG. To the person who posted, your words mean nothing to me, only God can judge me. What I didn't say was, you're going to go to hell for saying that. <laughs> I think I was in a really bad mood when I wrote this list the first time because my response, the first go round to your words mean nothing to me, only God can judge me. Oh yeah, well fuck you, you're stupid. So, <laughs> this, this one's funny. To the person who posted, if you voted for our current president in 2008 to prove you weren't a racist, please vote for someone else in 2012 to prove you aren't an idiot. I wrote, nice to see you on, what I didn't write was, nice to see you on Facebook, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I should have said, on the Facebooks. <laughs> <clears throat> to the person who wrote, what a nice business. Action Battery Center on Jacksboro Highway gave me a new battery for my watch for free. What I didn't write was, must be nice to have boobs. <laughs> Doesn't happen to us, girls. <laughs> Nobody gives us free batteries. Um, life is good. No, it's not. <laughs> Didn't say that. Um, to the, <laughs> the life is good thing wears me. Uh, to the person who posted Obama, more like O-Bummer, Ooh, high comedy with Oscar Wilde like learning. I did not write. Oh yeah, well fuck you, you're stupid. No. Because uh, he couldn't have read that. Uh, what I did not write was racist. Um, to the person who posted, coffee should come in IV form. Mm. The thing I did not write on Facebook. Too bad it doesn't come in make you less boring form. So. <laughs> That was funnier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, that is uh, the extent of whatever you would call a monologue.